Hi there, Leo. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your reading now. This is for July 12th through July 31st. This is intended to be a love reading. We'll see what comes up for you. What do you have for Leo for July 12th through the 31st? In regards to love, what do you have for Leo? Sorry about that. I'm going to push my computer back. <laughs> there you are very first card thank you God angels spirits and universe for assisting us here I really appreciate your assistance I just want to get this right all right so this is for Leo July 12th to the 31st and you've jumped right out of the deck I think it's a time of surrender, Leo. Okay, it is. I feel like you're feeling like you are stuck. Okay. Perhaps you've been going within trying to figure something out. Um, <laughs> looks like there's some new beginnings or there has been a new beginning. Perhaps you have um, a new partner, a new mate. And there's a lot of love. And commitment. Beautiful. Love it. Looks real good. Alright, so what I see is that things have been happening very, very fast. Okay, we're going to turn that over because I happen to look at it at the bottom of the deck. And this is what it is about things happening very fast. You have things happening, things have been happening fast and they're going to continue to happen fast. Um, it looks like um, you you have surrendered to the changes, okay? You have surrendered to the universe and you're just going with it and you're doing whatever possible um, to remain poised, calm, confident, and graceful. And you're, and you're doing it with ease, okay? Um, even though you project this aura about you and you're handling yourself very very well on the inside your defenses are still up okay you're still quite worried um, and I see that you know those are your thoughts those are just your thoughts that are worrying you because it looks this is a very positive reading this is very um, it looks like there's love here for you, and it looks like there it could be true love, all right? there's a, There's been a new welling of emotion, and it's very enthusiastic. It's good. It's good. It looks like there's a strong commitment here. Um, could be with a Cancer. Could be with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Could be with a Sagittarius. Then down here we have Aries Leo Sagittarius. Um, we also have Virgo. And then we have you right at the very beginning of the reading. Um, you know, this is for July 12th through the 31st. So at the beginning, through the, right around the 12th, you're going to be feeling quite strong with who you are. You know, you're not going to be feeling down at all. There's no depression. You're feeling good. You're feeling uh, healthy. Um, 
inside you might have your guard up a little bit but I think in general your love life is moving in the right direction um, your confidence is through the roof so that really aids in the um, direction that you're going because your confidence is so high that you really you really can't fail there's like nothing can stop you you're, you're going where you need to go towards this love okay could be with a water sign um, you're going towards this love with vigor you know and it's gonna and it's victorious okay unfortunately you know you there's it's like up and down in your head okay you're going towards it with confidence and you feel really good about the relationship but then again something is still not right because you perhaps the relationship that you are in or yeah that you're in there's still a barrier there's still a barrier okay and that's why your guard is up um, A new opportunity is being offered to you around the um, 16th, 17th. A new opportunity. It could be, you know, an actual commitment where you decide to make a commitment, a real commitment with somebody. Perhaps um, a commitment that leads to security and abundance. And these are gifts from God, okay? So they're raw potential. You don't, I mean, you're handed to them when you're ready to receive them. And you've been handed these two gifts from the universe. Um, the first one is the Ace of Pentacles. It is about prosperity, security, abundance, stability. Um, that's what this one is. This one is about new partnerships, growth. It can be a new sexual partner. It can be a commitment. It's, it's a new discovery, okay? And it's handed to you. So it's a big one. It's not like it's something little. It's a new venture, okay? And you have, you have it twice, so you have two aces twice, so that's a big deal. You're being handed a new opportunity, and it's a big one, put it that way, okay? And it is, um, it's a major life change for you, okay? Because I think it leads to you, um, joining with this person, okay? Which is, could be a water sign, um... And it and it is love, okay? It's it's a new relationship. It is a fair. It's either brand new or fairly new after a time, a long period of time of being alone, okay? This person comes in and offers you love, and you're no longer alone. All right, and you feel so good towards the towards the end of the month. You know, this commitment has really stepped it up a notch. The commitment has stepped up another level. And, and because of that, you're feeling really, really good. All right? You're feeling proud. You're feeling like this is a dream, you know? Um... There's some healing that needs to happen, though, still. Even though there's a commitment here, there's still a time of healing. And, you know, I don't understand because it, you look like, or to me, it feels like you're very healthy, okay? So, maybe, I mean, what is this? This is a time of rest, a time of recuperation. And it's right here next to this. This, this, this often, um, maybe you've been through a difficult time for the last week or two you've been through a difficult time and now you just need time to heal from that you know and get through it and just blend you know blend things together um, because when something new comes in you can't just um, let go of everything that was in the past you can't I mean you have to blend so it looks like that we have some need to do that here but there's a victory. There's a victory. So there's nothing to worry about. The blending is going to happen um, with no problem. 
you know, there could be some addictions. I'm not sure what this means, but I feel like there could be some addictions and that's why there's a time of rest. Perhaps, you know, maybe there's been some impulsive behavior, okay? Maybe there's been some impulsive um behavior which has caused you the need to take a break you know or this is at the end of the month this is at the end of the month where you might need to take a break this is uh this is the 12th through the 15th then we have the 16th through the 19th then we have the the 20th through whatever the end of the month and this is right towards the end of the month okay so that's how it goes it's not specific exactly like that but that's just a heads up this is the 12th and this is the 31st and it goes this way so just put that into perspective um, at the end of the month somebody might act impulsively okay this is at the end of the month after this time of uh, maybe they had to go within to figure something out. Maybe they had to go within to um, to meditate. They had to meditate to figure out the next steps. Okay, and then the, at the very end of the month, something happens. We'll try to get some clarifiers. This is the last card, so after that we don't see anything. So I feel like um, You're, you're going into this feeling good. After this time of contemplation or whatever it is, of rest, of trying to plan, you go into this plan period of time to um, basically soul search or organize your life or whatever. You go into this little period of, ice, just a little period of rest to figure something out and you come out of it on top you come out of it feeling great you know you've met this perfect person and it's probably true love and it looks like you're moving in the right direction there is um it's a partnership okay and it looks really really good but i think that you're you're wanting to to keep it moving so you might act on something. And here, this is why this card up. This is August. That's why it came up. And for some reason, I wanted to put it over here. So then it, this all flows into August, which makes complete sense. Our lives go from one day to the next. Um, but I see the commitment um, stepping up a notch. Okay? Somebody's going to take action to bring the commitment um, to a higher level. This is what you need to do because I can see that you still have your defenses up a little bit up here and this is going to go right here let your guard down do not be afraid to commit okay do not be afraid to commit fully you can say you commit you can say I'm committed I'm committed <laughs> I can say that anybody can anybody can say it you know you have to really express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture show how committed you are in some way whatever it is you need figure out what it is what is it what is, that's what you need to do that's why you need to go into this period of contemplation to figure out what it is <laughs> this is true 
your, this is true, playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. If your relationship has lost some spark, pull it out. All right. If you have a new relationship and you've been in this time of introspection forever and you have forgotten what playful, playful, no, playfulness is, I suggest you find it again. Okay, because you need to bring out that playful side. What is your playful side? What is it? Figure it out. This says figure it out. Go within and figure it out. Bring this back out. Act. Once you bring it out, take action. Once it comes to you, act now. Oh. This is why you got to go within. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Release all harsh judgments. Okay? Release the need to control or dominate the situation. Be open to the other person's suggestions. You might have to make some sacrifices, okay? Because you have some blending to do blending and you have to consider the other person's baggage in a very big way okay so there will be some blending clear clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now there is a barrier like I told you at the beginning there's a barrier to this commitment okay there's there's a barrier between this love, this true love in you. Okay, there's a barrier. Has to do with blending. Once you figure out what the barrier is, when you go into the... You have a lot to figure out in this time of contemplation. Go ahead, make the romantic gesture. Time to recap to recapture mo romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Playfulness. What is your playfulness? Okay. What is it that you? What is the barrier? What is it? What is it that you have to act on? What is it? Ask yourself, and listen, listen. And clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So you got some things to think about. Absolutely. Got some clearing up to do because commitment is here. Here. Probably with your soulmate. One of them anyway. Oh, look what's on the bottom of the deck. Do you really want to see it? Oh my goodness. Somebody will probably write. Don't hold the cards like that. Show us. I'll delete it. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. <laughs> I believe it. Do you? I do. That's why this relationship is moving up another level. Okay? Your level of commitment is moving up. It's meant to be. You have known each other before. So, do I feel the need to draw any more cards? Nope, I don't. So, if this doesn't resonate with you, then um, go ahead and check your rising sign or your moon sign or both. And please know that this will resonate with some. It will not resonate with all, considering there is... This is for a general audience. We all come from different areas. We come from different makeups. You know, we're different. So it's not going to resonate with everybody 100%. Some piece, parts of it will and some parts of it won't. Sometimes some of the whole thing might. Whatever it is, it is. Um, this is what I have for you and I hope you enjoyed it. Please um, comment, like, subscribe. All that jazz.